You can look at some of the research with naturals because it removes the drug variable. So you don't have it skewing what could be really occurring with, you know, some individuals. Yeah, the body weight doesn't change much and they just get leaner or you're using compounds that could drive a faster rate of fat loss and easily maintain tissue. I think that's when it's helpful to look at data from natural bodybuilders and what, what you see is a good rate and what maintains tissue and performance. And just to summarize that, if you look across like a lot of these this data, about a 1% rate of loss on the front end of a prep for a natural does a really good job at maintaining lean body mass. In some of the studies, there's actually like no body lean body mass loss. In females, especially males, it does start to taper off towards the end, but that's when the fat loss rate needs to start tapering down as you just have less fat to lose and you're at a great greater risk of losing lean tissue. There's just more hormonal maladaptations occurring to cause muscle loss, right? So that rate of loss needs to taper down from maybe this 1% down to this half percent. And how I do it is off the front end, I do go more aggressive, especially the first week, depending on where the person was at, you might see like a one and a half percent rate of loss. I'm good chasing that for the first like three to four weeks on prep and then letting it taper into 1%. And that is especially so when they're higher body fat and especially so uh, when there's PEDs on the table. We, we could definitely keep that that higher rate going for a longer period of time too.